Hey guys, and welcome to Little Rig Podcast. This is episode 184. All right, guys, welcome back to Little Big Podcast. We've been gone for quite a long time, I think about 10 months. 10 months. Uh, so anyway, uh, hopefully most of you saw our trailer advertising that we we're going to be back today. Uh, if you haven't done that, we'd love for you to check it out. There's going to be an annotation on the screen right now for you to go check that out. And a link um, down in the description box thing. So we figured, you know, since we've been gone for so long that we'd make an epic comeback in this, in a sense. So yes. we made this cool trailer. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can. If not, if you just want to keep watching, that's cool too. And if you already saw the trailer and you thought, whoa, that was so cool, we have a making of that trailer where we talk about really what went in behind it, the thoughts that we had. All that will be down in the description as well and an annotation on screen. Cool. So probably most of you guys are wondering, all right, so you're back, you've been gone for 10 months, where have you been? So that's kind of a big question, and the answer to it starts a couple of years ago when I left to go to college for the first time uh, two years ago. 2011? When, yeah. 2011. Summer wow. of 2011. So that's when Daniel started while. hosting the show by himself when I left, because at the time we were living in North Carolina, and I moved to California to go to college. Uh, so Daniel did the show for himself by, uh, for a while, and then I would come back, you know, during Christmas break or summer break and jump on for a few episodes, um, but that was really it for my involvement with the show. Right. So last summer, about a year ago, um, and the last episode, 183, uh, is when I was signing off to go back to college again after a few weeks at home over the summer. So what you guys didn't know is that whole time, me and my mom had been kind of talking it over, and we were planning on moving out to California right where Austin was. And uh, those plans kind of got set in motion. I said there are going to be a couple of blips in the schedule. We didn't exactly know everything that was going to happen between then and now. Honestly, it's been kind of just like a nonstop, like, it's all kind of a blur in my yeah. mind. It just went by so fast. We've been gone for 10 months. When I say that, it sounds like a really long time, but honestly, it seems like just yesterday we were sitting here saying, okay, there's going to be a few blips in the schedule, Austin's going to be going off to college, and then... Now it's like, wait a second, <laughs> what just happened? So um, we're really glad to be back, and um, we're glad to be together. Me and Austin have been able to make some videos and stuff, work on some projects. Um, not all of them have been posted online to where you guys can see them, but we're actually both working in media now. I'm a graphic designer. Austin is a cinematographer, editor, pretty much superhero with anything video. So um, it's been great, and honestly, all of that stems directly from doing Little Big Podcast for right. as long as we did it. So, so even though you guys haven't seen what we've been up to for the past few months, you guys are all a part of what happened, in a sense. I know that sounds terrible because that makes it sound like you forced us to leave the show, <laughs> no. in a way. But no. um, the way our jobs have been working and stuff like that, everything that we've learned from Little Big Podcast has helped us get to where we are right now uh, with video stuff, graphic stuff. Um, yeah. So I guess we owe you guys a thank you and also an apology for being gone for so long. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, it's just been crazy. Uh, Getting in, uh, for me, having to move back home after being in dorms, which is really nice not having to go to the dorms <laughs> to be in college anymore. Yeah. Um, so I get to live at home. Uh, but yeah, just between you know classes in the morning, work in the afternoon, getting home, trying to have a little bit of family time, just between all the crazy stuff that goes on, it's hard to, to squeeze in, playing the game enough to stay relevant, and then coming, filming the show after a long day of already doing video and editing. Um, so that's kind of why we haven't done the show in such a long time. But now that it's the summertime, things kind of calm down. We still work, but it's it's less of a hectic schedule with classes shoved in there too. So so now a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, you're back. So what does this mean? And we are going to talk about that a little bit later in the show. But we thought that we'd bring you guys up to date on some of the stuff that has happened in the past 10 months in Little Big Planet. Because obviously, if you're anything like us, you probably missed a lot of stuff. So... Um, let's talk about a little bit of what happened in the game while we were gone. Little Big Planet passed 8 million levels. Now, I did some math, and let's say the average level is about 5 minutes long. Well, if you've played through all the levels in the game, which you haven't, you would have spent 76 years constant playing the game. So, there is a ton of content out there, and props to all the guys at um, PlayStation who actually go through find the best stuff, and post them on the blogs, which is what we're going to talk about next. Definitely. So, some stuff we've missed out on, there are going to be weekly LBB, LBP, 
See, I haven't said that abbreviation in a very long time, so it's, it's kind of confusing. Anyway, there are going to be weekly blog posts highlighting some of the best levels, best picks, stuff like that, um, through the official PlayStation uh, Little Big Planet blog. Right, so Little Big Planet 2 picks will be on Fridays, Little Big Planet Vita picks are on Thursdays, there's weekly carding picks, there's Toonsday, which is composers in Little Big Planet that have songs, they put them on there, and then Tuesday is also the day that they post... Um, the news and stuff. There's weekly community fan site picks every Monday, and LittleBigPlanet.com is updated very frequently now. So there's been a lot of activity going on, and Definitely. it's been able to keep you guys up to date a ton, even without us being here. Some of you guys were like, "Oh, I thought the game just stopped when you guys disappeared." <laughs> Not, quite. Not quite. Um, it's still alive and going strong. There's a lot of updates coming to the game, and a lot of exciting content. I was just talking. Um, with the community manager for LBP2, Stephen Isbell. Great guy. A lot of you guys know him as Stephen I. Um, he does a great job keeping everybody up to date, keeping these blogs and um, websites relevant and fresh. He says that he tries to update them so every time you log in, there's a piece of fresh information. So really, really great job um, by him. Props to him. Keep up the great work. Definitely. So when I was talking to him, he also mentioned something else the DLC, it's there's going to be a couple of weeks where it's just kind of silent. It doesn't seem like anything is happening. And then a couple of weeks after that, there's going to be DLC hitting every couple of weeks. So there's several, several exciting DLC kits coming, one of which is the Last of Us costume pack. So that's going to be pretty sweet. I guess it was included in the collector's edition, but it wasn't quite out yet. That's going to be released very soon, and then you guys will be able to pick that up. Um, that game had... A lot of good reception, and it's kind of cool that they're bringing that DLC to Little Big Planet. So. Right. So that brings us pretty much to okay. So there's stuff still kind of happening with LBP two. Um, you know, we don't play it a whole lot anymore. You guys, I'm sure, haven't played it quite as hard as you used to back. You know, when it was fresh. So I guess the next question is, where do we go from here? And that's kind of a question that we've been thinking about ever since we figured out. Okay, and we, we need have to come no back. idea what we're going to do. No, exactly. I'm just kidding. So <laughs> right now we're thinking about doing a show maybe once a month. Uh, right now we got to fine tune uh, when the best date for that would be. Like what portion of the month that would be. Like in the middle of the month, at the start of every month, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so we've got to figure out exactly when would be the best time news-wise or content-wise to right. start doing that. Um, but we think that that's something that we can handle, um, especially with the way our schedules are. If we, if we have one day off that we can plan on just sinking into a show, I think that we can take care of that. Right. So hopefully, and this isn't a promise, but hopefully we'll be returning about once a month just to kind of recap things, throw you out some levels to play. Um, more of a less, like, play it six hours a day kind of thing, and more of, like, a casually, like, here's some stuff, you know, go back, reminisce, check this stuff out. Right. So, that and type of thing. the way our schedules work now, we just could not do a weekly show. The time that we sunk into it, like, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but back when we were doing it every week, we would sink maybe eight hours a show, probably more than that, maybe, like, closer to ten hours a show, and it was just picking levels, going through news, finding all this stuff. And with our work schedules now, we really just don't have time to do that anymore. But we do want to keep making videos because that's what we love to do. That's how we got to where we are now, making Little Big Podcast. So we definitely want to keep that open and we want to be able to do that. So just tell us what you guys think down in the comment section down below of a weekly wrap-up mega show. Monthly. Obviously, if we... What? Monthly. Monthly, <laughs> monthly We're so used wrap to the up, weekly thing. Uh, monthly wrap up, mega show kind of thing. We could sink a lot more time into it. We could sink a lot more content into it. It would be a more fun viewing experience for you guys, and it would be a lot easier for us to handle. We really like the idea of it. So just let us know what you guys think. What time of month? You know, just whatever you guys want to tell us down there. What works best for you guys? Because this is all for you. Definitely. Okay, so I think that's everything that we wanted to cover. There's one more thing I kind of want to mention. Speaking of the future. Um, we got to go to E3 a couple weeks ago, um, phoned up some of our friends and were able to get in, and uh, it was a blast getting to check out all the different um, games that were set up there. The PS4, of course, on the show floor. The controller feels great. Um, we didn't line really up good. in line to play like any of the AAA titles for like we didn't. Like, they were some like, of the four lines hour were, like, lines. Four hour lines. If you wanted to play like <laughs> Battlefield stuff yeah. like that. 
Um, so we were, we're like, just like oh, yeah, that's cool. we'll pass on that we'll for it. now. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we played some uh, some smaller like indie games on the PS4, and the controller's really great. The graphics look good. Octodad um, was probably that the was a funniest game that I've ever played one. in my life. So anyway, <laughs> more than just getting to play the PS4 though, in my book, is we got to finally meet up with Spath from Media Molecule. A lot of you guys will know him uh, that are longtime fans of the game and of uh, Media Molecule. So after years of just skyping each other and missing each other at conferences and stuff, we finally. <laughs> We're at the same one this year, uh, so we got to meet up with him, hung out with him for a couple hours that afternoon, and uh, it was cool uh, yeah. being able to see Media Molecule's new game that they were showing off there, Tearaway, for the Vita. Um, really cool concept. Super if you don't cool know about game. the game yet, really definitely cool. check it out. It's it's a cool idea, and so um, they're they're really planning a lot of their effort into that right now, but they know that they want to develop something for PS4, so whatever that is, I'm sure it'll be cool. But that's where Media Molecule is right now. Yeah, so for those of you who have been playing the game for, like, forever, you'll know that Media Molecule has been just a driving creative force behind a lot of the stuff that comes out with not just Little Big Planet, but PlayStation in general. It's inspired a lot of the whole play, create, share um, genre, kind of. It, they, like, started a genre, so that's kind of a precedent. But um, just the whole, like, community aspect, they handled a the community better than... I'm pretty sure anyone else ever has in gaming history. So it's been super cool to see them kind of progress and now to see their new game and to get to meet with them. It was just a really cool experience. So definitely, definitely looking forward to Tearaway when that comes out later this year. So that was kind of our E3 update, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, even in a film basis, we bumped into Steven Spielberg there, which yeah. was actually kind of cool. Yeah, um, and we got to shake his hand. It's like you're shaking hands with like a legend, a legend yeah. of filmmaking. And then we so. came home, we were coming home later that night, and I saw a DeLorean, and I'm like, he produced that movie. It's like, it was just kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. So from a game standpoint, from a film standpoint, it was a really cool day to yeah. be able to go down. And we're only an hour away from L.A., so like all that stuff, you know, E3... Um, anything else that goes on in LA, you know, we're literally like right there. So living in California definitely has its benefits. Oh, yeah. And I've already known that for a few years, but now that we're all here and we have a car, we have a house that we are based out of now, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, definitely. So on the note of the future still, if you guys want to keep in touch with us, we do have a Twitter feed for the show where we'll post periodic updates, just kind of random things that happen. We'll retweet um, some of our audio, other video posts. Um, we have Little Big Podcast, at LB Podcast is the account for that. And then we have React Studios, at React Studios. Um, that's kind of more of our like publishing arm, our behind the scenes, our short film kind of thing. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow on Twitter and all that good stuff. And I think that's pretty much it yeah. for this week, right? Yep. All so right. everything you want to know about us, instead of doing all these crazy annotations at the <laughs> end, just check in the description. We'll have links to all of our social media stuff. We'll have links to, uh, like you were saying, other uh, websites that we publish through, stuff like that. So anything else you want to follow us on besides Little Big Podcast will be down below. Uh, make sure you stay tuned to our Twitter. Um, that's probably where to get most of our relevant information. If you're not following that or if you don't have a Twitter you can still go and look at the updates as if it were a news feed and a news page. Um, so just go check out our Twitter every once in a while. We'll post updates there. We'll let you know when our monthly show will start, when all that will, will start happening. Um, so just keep posted, and uh, we'll see you guys pretty soon. Yep. All right. Thanks for see watching. Ya. See you guys next time. <laughs>